Nobody does better albums and album covers than Juliana Hatfield. She's the singer, songwriter, and instrumentalist, guitar, piano, organ, bass, and occasionally drums, who continues the reign as one of New England's premier rock musicians, long after her debut with the Blake Babies way back when. Her newest album, you're hearing cut from it as we speak, is Made in China. And here she is, Juliana Hatfield. Nice to have you back, Juliana. How are you? You may not remember this. Last time you were here, you said you weren't sure you had made the right career choice. In fact, you said, I remember this, maybe I should have been a librarian. Do you still feel the same way? Well, yes, I do. I mean, I've I've always been really conflicted about, um, really, about the performance and promotion part of it. I feel really great about the writing and um, the recording. I'm just a little bit shy for the, you know... But how do you yourself, you're 38 years old, right? Yeah. You've been doing this for 19 years. Isn't that when you broke a little longer? But formally, you came out, so to speak, when you were 19, right? Or, or even younger. So maybe, half yeah. of your life, you've been doing this thing. I know, Are yeah. you working to a place, you, do you want to get to a place where you have that self-confidence, or it doesn't matter? I, at this point, I think it's sort of, it's not going to happen. I'm always going to be, you know, really self-critical and self-conscious about it. And, um... Yeah, I'm, re- I'm still trying to think of, think about what I should do with my life when I grow up, you know. And this may not be it? Well, I'll always, I'll always write songs and I'll always record them. I'll probably always release records, but I'm not so sure about the, the um, touring. I'm, getting, I'm a little bit coming to realize that maybe that's not my, my best you're not totally sure of the selling either. You say on your website, which is great, by the way, julianahatfield.com, right. I don't really care whether people buy the CDs or not. I really don't. Is that true? Right. Well, well, I have to say that it's like a defense. You know, so I mean, if they don't do it, you're if not they don't, then I'm not gonna, I'm going to pretend not to care. But really, for me, it's always been about the work for me, about the, um, the actual creating is the really important part to me. And, and everything else after that, like, how many records I sell, how many people come to my shows, that's all just sort of extra. Ye Old Records is a record company. Is, your, is it your record company? Yeah. Is this like because you're forced to do that or because you decide I want total control of this thing? And that's Made in China is on Ye Old Records. Right, yeah, it's the first release on my label. I, I've been thinking about doing it for a really long time and, and in a way I've come full circle because my first band, the Blake Babies, we put out our first album ourselves on our own label. And then... Um, I think, I think I decided to start my label now just because the opportunity presented itself to me and, um, because my, my contract with my lab, my last record label expired, it came to the end and then I just thought, um, I'll just put out my next record myself. Let me ask you about a couple of your contemporaries. You mentioned mm-hmm. again on your website, Gwen Stefani, Mariah Carey, <laughs> well you do, and do, Christina yeah. Aguilera. What do you say they all have in common? Well... Implants is the answer to that. Well, it's really the thing is, I think I was trying to just um, mention that the strange fact that a lot, most of the successful female singers have turned themselves into strippers. You know, you say near porn stars, but you're naked on the cover. It was an art shot. It was. <laughs> How do you distinguish <laughs> okay. what's an art shot and what's? Well, I porn? think I think. What distinguishes that the cover of my album as an art shot rather than a cheap ex- exploitation of myself is the fact that I I took the photograph, it's a self-portrait, and I took the photograph about four years ago with no aim, no purpose except for my own artistic project. And I never intended for anyone to see it, and I never... The, the intention was not to um, titillate, ever. Beautifully put. 